Oh my god, that guy's just bleeding straight up. I've... Yo, what happened to this guy? <laughs> Jacob Henderson? Yeah, he, he needs help. He's bleeding. I have never seen that before. What's his condition like? He's 95. You know, for a guy bleeding, he's got a really high condition, I gotta tell you. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Hospitalized. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. Uh, this right here, as you can probably see, is indeed a hospital sim building tycoon game. Very similar to something like a prison architect or another brick in the mall. But here, obviously, you're building your own hospital from the ground up. This is the little off-camera save I've been messing around with to kind of get the ins and outs of the game. Just to show you how it will eventually look. If we zoom on out over here, you see the entire map available to us. We could actually build a really... I'm not entirely sure why you need a hospital this huge, but we have a lot of building potential here down the line. So, let me get into a new game over here and get the ball rolling for us. Let's go over here and do Dr. Falcon. That sounds pretty good. And the hospital name is going to be The Nest. Because, you know, you got a bird falcon, doctor, you got the nest over here. It works out splendidly for us. If you guys enjoyed this, by the way, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like. And we might cover more of this down the line as well. But right now, I wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown of what the game is all about. This actually came out on Steam Early Access earlier in September last year. But I'm playing it until now because I've been waiting for more development to come along the line. So right now, I think it's like a pretty opportune time to show you what this is all about. So honestly speaking, this tutorial right here, I will be canceling that out for us. I don't need a tutorial. I will give you the gist of it down here below myself. This here is how you will build stuff, your walls, furniture, stuff like that. Over here we have room assignments. So basically you build rooms and each room is going to require a certain type of item in there in order to assign it to, you know, medical room, waiting room, reception area, stuff like that. Over here is where you will start um, hiring your staff members. We have, that's not the one I'm looking for. Um, we have status for employees and applicants, and over here the professions, we have doctor, caretakers, cleaners, nurses, and porters as well. This will be in order for us to keep an eye on our patients. Right now we barely started, so we have no patient to kind of like follow up on. We'll be able to like charge more, but if you charge more as well, your reputation will drop. You know, you're telling them like, hey, there's something wrong with your bladder, even though their bladder's perfectly fine, so you give them a, some sort of test for that. But they know that there's something wrong with their bladders, so that can actually hurt your reputation. But if you're trying to make some more money by being a scumbag, that's kind of a way to go about it as well. Over here we have scheduled tasks for surgeries, and over here will be information about how much is what, like our salaries, our cost of building, open hospital, patient capacity, and stuff like that as well. Let's get down to the building here right now. So we want to start off with maybe, I'm going to say, a walkway for the hospital. So I'm gonna do something like maybe through here. That's enough space right there. And then we'll probably want a walkway eventually. I'm not gonna build too far into that, but I wanna have the groundwork so I know how to build around what I'm doing. So we'll start off with that. We'll also go with maybe a decoration. We'll have something like uh, green bushes lining this up like so. Okay, make it nice and pretty for the people to feel welcome into our hospital. And then we'll probably have a flower bed somewhere over here, I would say, right? That sounds pretty... No, no, we'll do it like this, because then, yeah. We'll do it like that. And... Like this, and we'll have like a wall here, the double doors here. Yeah, that works out pretty fine. So let's go to structure now, and we'll do white wall. And for this bad boy, I think what we'll do here to start off is... Go down through... Maybe like a 6 by 6 so... That should be cool enough. And then, let's see, we'll do something like... Wall here, wall here. Get rid of that one right here. And this will be our doors as well. And we'll do electronic double doors like that. Okay. So now our people will start coming in here. As you can see, it's very cutesy. I like the, the characters down here as well. They all have their own little personality. The workers are dressed like workers. We'll have nurses and doctors here pretty soon. And these are the people that are um, appointed. We clean the area because we'll get dirty after a lot of people coming in over time. So we we'll need that. Did I not get rid of you? I thought I did. Get you out of the way there. Okay. So let's come over here and start getting our reception and waiting room area complete. We do have a quest right now, which is the board of directors. The road to a large hospital is long. Your first task is to build a doctor's office and hire the necessary personnel. So right now, let's get that out of the way here. This will be our reception area. Let's go to furniture and we'll start off with a counter area for reception. And we can place that like right over here in the middle. And we want some waiting chairs for people to sit and wait. And we'll do something like my walls are through here. So we'll have bam, bam, bam. And rotate properly. 
like that. Okay, that's pretty good for the waiting area right there. And then we'll have a door back here into the doctor's office itself. Uh, for the doctor's office, I think we'll just have like a regular opening door, nothing really too fancy. We don't need an electronic door for that. So regular door back over here would be fine. Let's go into the white wall now and we'll do... Let's see. We don't need really too much area for the doctor's office. As a matter of fact, maybe if it reflects the size of this area, it should be fine. So this should work out for us right over here. And let's speed up time over here so we get this done as soon as possible. The floor foundation is now done. So with this over here set up as it is now, we can assign this over here to reception and waiting room. Now for reception area, we need a counter. So that right there alone meets the requirement. For waiting room, we need chairs, which right there. So this right here is going to actually be two things, reception and waiting room. You could do your own separate reception area, but right now since we're barely starting off, we need to kind of conserve money here a little bit. So with these rooms assigned, this will be, boom, now reception and waiting room area, and this will be the doctor's office. So for the doctor's office, we're going to require what? A desk, office chair, and a chair as well. So let's go into the building furniture and we'll need a regular old desk for the doctor so let's see I guess we could probably have it right over through here we'll have the office chair right here and in case you want to come with your family member for the terrible news that we'll probably be giving you right here we'll place those like that there you go so this right here is gonna be like the really basic things now meanwhile you build your radiography center your pharmacy your examination rooms your surgery rooms um, we won't have access to that just yet, so right now, the most we can do is have people come in, have a consultation with us, and we'll find out what's kind of wrong with them, and we will send them off to a different hospital. But obviously, the big money is in being able to treat them ourselves, so as we kind of like get bigger and bigger, we'll be able to take care of more patients and get more money. But right now, early on, it's going to be a very slow grind towards a bigger area. But as you can see right now, pretty good foundation right here, nice little welcoming environment as well. Okay, so with this done, let's actually hire some people. We'll go over to applicants and we're looking for, you get out of the way please. We're looking for a doctor first and foremost, so we have a couple of people to choose from. And all of them will have different type of uh, skills and traits and assuming you're looking for a doctor for surgery, you better get a surgery one. So right here we have Jonathan Wright who does surgery, nobody else is available for that. But right now we're not looking for surgery, so it's not really a big thing. But these are all skills we want to take care of and the more work they do in that field, they'll get bigger and better. Not bigger, but they'll get more profound at it. And there's also going to be quests where we send doctors and nurses elsewhere to, you know, help out with an epidemic of some kind. And they'll get extra skills that way as well. So right now we're looking for something really basic. I want to go with high social and maybe discipline and general practice. So Murphy Joshua costs $88 a day. Uh, discipline social. I think he might be the best one. You're a bit cheaper, but this guy has better stats than you do. I'm going to go with Joshua Murphy. So select him and hire and now we also need a nurse for the reception area we have plenty of nurses to choose from right now um, for the reception area I think we're looking for social really and maybe discipline so 20 we have pharmacists as well so we could kick them off elsewhere afterwards social 31 56 discipline mm, 47 31 I kind of want to go with Mia Cooper, and then maybe eventually we get a better social and discipline person, we could just have Mia Cooper move over to the laboratory afterwards. So, let's go with Mia Cooper, hire her, and that should be, there they are. I like how they show up in the delivery truck themselves. We literally delivered the nurse and the doctor to our area to work at. Okay. And now let's go into assignment over here, so that's already been assigned. This over here is going to be our office. Boom. So now they should vamoose up to their proper areas pretty soon. Oh, I think we have to open up the the nest first. So let's go over here to hospital options and now we shall open hospital. And let's see, the current capacity is going to be two. That's a good start off because we only have one doctor and one nurse. So we don't necessarily overwhelm it because if we do, then people will be waiting a lot longer. And if they wait too long, the reputation will start dropping here. So with this done, they should make their ways up there we have our very first patients guys please get into the offices please you have people waiting for you doctor that means you too joshua murphy get your ass into your office right here i made you a nice little pretty office there he goes okay and we have our first two patients as well we have aiden nelson 40 years old male conditions 83. now as you can see right now when they come in because we don't have access to award physical examinations and all that stuff we can't choose these but once we open up those areas we'll be able to assign those um tasks to get them extra 
coverage and extra stuff. So at the moment we have Aiden Nelson who says, Noteworthy, headache, troublesome fatigue, troublesome dizziness, and unusual paralysis. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, man. I hope we actually take care of you pretty well here. So Joshua, you go over there, Mr. Murphy, and uh, treat this guy here. And we have you waiting around. We have Vivian Smith. Okay. Meanwhile, this is happening. I think we just opened up this here, right? We need two nurses to get this one done. I'm going to hire another nurse right now, even though we don't necessarily need her. But I'm pretty sure eventually we'll have a quest where we can send a nurse off to another area to help. So that will give us some more money. So this will tell us the condition of our current patients now that we can see here. But let me hire a different nurse now and let's see. Hmm, Social 50 and Discipline 50. This is actually a really good nurse. Considering how much it costs, it's a lot less than you, huh? Let me pick up Elizabeth Davis. And now with her hired, we should be able to come over here and open this up and finish this quest, which will give us 10 reputation and $1,600 reduce. Okay. Talk to your patients. If the equipment to examine or treat patients is missing, the doctor will refer the patient to another hospital. The patient will still have to pay for the consultation, and if he is referred to the correct hospital, give your hospital some good reputation, reach a reputation of 100. So we're two away from now, one that's going to be done very, very easily. As a matter of fact, after we're done with her, I think we should get that, I'm assuming we consulted properly here. Here's the extra nurse who's waiting around. Uh, let's see, meanwhile that happens, let's go into... Oh, we have Help in India. This might be the one I was looking for, I think. Oh, you're asking for a doctor? Yeah, they're asking for a doctor. If it was a nurse, I could just send the extra one there right now. Um, so we can't accept this one right now because I don't think we need two doctors at the moment. We will need one once we get the examination room probably opened up, and not right now. There was an earthquake in India, and we don't have enough staff to care for the wounded. Can you spare a doctor for 10 hours? This mission requires a doctor. Although, I'll be honest with you, the amount of money they give me early on, pretty good. Plus, it'll level up a couple of stills like general practice, social, and surgery. 6,000 isn't really too bad. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get the extra doctor right now. So, doctor here. I mean, we're going to need him eventually anyway. Mailbox, go away. So, we only have one doctor available now, which is going to be Brady Phillips. Very basic dude. As a matter of fact, what we'll do is probably have Brody Phillips take care of this and we'll send you. Actually, you're pretty bad yourself. <laughs> we should send Joshua to level up a little bit, huh? Yeah. So, let's just hire this dude now. And come over here and pick up the help in India one. Assign the guy we originally had, Joshua Murphy, and accept that. And we won't get rewarded for that until 10 hours, so we have to wait now. But now you, doctor, I need you to take care of the new people coming in. And we got a reputation boost, so we're up to 102. Which means now we can come over here and open this up and finish that for 2,500 and 10x reputation. Boom! What do you got for me now? An office does not give many options to examine patients. Expand your doctor's office with an examination room and a laboratory as well. This guy is not looking too good for wear. Look at this guy. He's just all green. It's like we're, we're dealing with an ogre over here. What's wrong with you? Let's see. Um, away with you. This is going to be Mateo Thompson. Skin lesion. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the skin lesion is probably the least of your problem right now, Mateo Thompson. You look like an ogre, my friend. You're not very happy, too. $117. So, right now, take note of the current invoice. This is only for a consultation, but the moment we get an examination room, you'll slowly see the money start going up a bit. And we'll also go to diagnose more properly. So, right now, let's get rid of this. And let's start working on the examination and laboratory as well. So, we have two of them to do. Get rid of you. Let's have this run in regular time. Meanwhile, we'll deal with some patients here. And let's see about what is required for the laboratory and... The other one. So for the laboratory, we need desk, office chair, examination bed, medical locker, and blood analyzer. And for the what was the other one? examination, we need examination bed and medical cabinet. Okay. And then down here, you're doing two tasks and you're doing one task. Okay. So from the office, I'm kind of trying to see where I want the examination and laboratory. We could actually combine both of those into one single task because we could just put the items required in there, which might not be a bad idea early on. But you know what? Let's just spend a little bit more and get two separate areas right off the bat. So let's go to structure and we'll do... Uh, we'll do electronic door through here. Actually, through here. And through here. And let's see, white walls. And then we'll do something like, that should be fine. And then, how much was that? That was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
So three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Trying to keep it kind of even for now, otherwise all season start bothering me. So there we go. Now this will be... I guess we can make this the examination room, I suppose, behind the doctor. So, for examination room, let's go over to medical. And actually, wait, we're still gonna need the other stuff, right? Like the, uh, the desk, are we not? Let's see, examination room, desk, office chair, and chair as well. So, desk, we'll have, hmm, that's where the people can walk in. So we'll do it like this, office chair through here, and then, Bam, bam, we're gonna need the examination bed. So that one is down below. So you can see the other stuff we have, operation bed, 33,000. We have the CT scanner, which is 84,000. 235 for the MRIs. <laughs> That's gonna be a while before we're ready for that one. So let's do examination bed and we'll have this like maybe over here. And we'll have two of them for now, why not? And let's put the medical cabinet right over here. You can probably pick up the weapons you're going to use to kind of examine you. You can be over here freaking out. Every time I'm in a doctor's office, I'm always very on edge, so I see the medical cabinet, I see the beds, and I'm thinking, oh god, they're gonna slice and dice me. Even though I'm just going in for like a basic checkup, you know. They're gonna slice me right now. So that's done. Let's speed it up here a little bit so my people gets this done and we can start working on our laboratory afterwards. So let's see. Our reputation's at 145, not too bad. Our money's a bit low, but that's because we're expanding right now, so we'll make up some money here over time. So with this over here set up, let's go ahead and put this in real time. And now for the other room, the... Is it the laboratory that we're looking for? Yeah. Desk, office chair, examination bed, medical locker is what we need for that one. So, let's do office chair and desk first, the basics. So, furniture. I guess we could probably just mirror the other side as well. So we'll do that. No chairs required for this one, though, for the patient. So we'll do that. And... Medical. Examination bed. And for this one, let's switch it up here a little bit. We'll place it like here. And let's do two of them for now. We need blood analyzer, it did say. Cost us almost 6,000. Oh boy. That contract better be up pretty soon. I need that extra money now. So we'll have blood analyzer here. And we need a medical locker as well. Right next to it. Okay. So that should take care of two tasks right now. Our reputation is going up right now. Everything's looking pretty good. I guess eventually we could just kind of like, no, I'm going to have like the restroom area somewhere over here. How about meanwhile we're doing this, let's go over to decorations and deck out our office here a bit. So I have a calendar behind here. People could check out the time right over here. See how long they've been waiting. Like, you know, be very angry. Like, God damn it. I'm looking at that clock right now. I've been here for 15 minutes waiting. When am I getting in here? And for the doctor's office, we'll put a board right over here. Keep note of your different tasks, your assignments, your scheduled appointments. There you go. Okay. And let's go over to, I believe there's also, where's this at? Structure, furniture, coffee machine. <laughs> have a coffee machine right over here for the people. If they're waiting too long to get some coffee, sue them that way a bit. We have vending machines as well. I don't think I want a vending machine in my, well, maybe I do. Maybe eventually we'll have some vending machines, but down over here. But right now we're barely starting off small. Okay, so with this done, let's come over here and assign examination room for this one. Boom, boom. And then over here we'll have laboratory. Boom. So everything now should be assigned properly. Where's my cleaners at, by the way? This place is getting very filthy. <laughs> is there a reason why <laughs> there's so many handprints on the floor? <laughs> Like, what's the deal here? Like, uh, what, what are we dealing with? A bunch of apes or something or what? We, we don't wear shoes here? People just walk on their hands in my hospital. I would be kind of worried about that, I'm just saying. Cool. Oh, my second doctor was done, so we should be able to get the reward. And as you can see now, we have one person consulting and one person doing the examinations over here. Excellent. Now, can I also go ahead and we have a current capacity of four. So we have now upped that by having an extra doctor, it does seem. So let's see what we've done here. Examine your patients. This is now done. 15 reputation and almost 8,000. Thank you, sir. Lack of nurses. We can send a nurse off somewhere. Uh, there's been a sudden outbreak of influenza here in Johannesburg. And our nurses can't keep up. Can you spare a nurse for five hours? Uh, yes. So let's assign... I'm gonna assign... Uh, Mia Cooper. 
I think I just did that right. Mia Cooper and accept. There she goes. Help in Austria. My god, there's an outbreak everywhere. Austria, what's wrong with you? You guys need a doctor. Well, let's use an extra doctor. So, this will be general practice and social. You have both of those. I'd say we could probably work on Brody Phillips a bit. So, Brody Phillips, off you go. Help in India is complete. That was the original one with the doctor, so that's done. Get that out of the way. Lack of nurses. Another nurse you want me to hire? For two hours only. No, you know what? I'm gonna have to wait up on that one. Treating patients. What's this one? We need a pharmacy now. Okay. Actually, now we pick up a different nurse. We could just have her be the pharmacist as well. Help in Austria. What do you require? You require a doctor as well. Oh boy. Okay, so a lot of these are gonna have to wait right now. We have a new mission here. Examination room, which we finished. Cool. All right. So... We have two people off in contracts at the moment. I guess we started working on our pharmacy. That's not a bad idea at all. How are we looking in terms of everything over here? Five current capacity. We've been spending a lot right now, but that's okay. I want to see what my patients are looking like here. So we have... We don't have a, a nurse. All of our nurses are gone. That's silly. No, she's right here. She is right over here. But why are we bringing those people in? There you go. So, who are you? You're Henry King. Unpleasant pain in the ear, noteworthy reduced hearing. Okay, we'll talk about that. We could also assign it a physical examination. You know what? Let's do that because he's got like a noteworthy reduced hearing. So, physical examination as well. And I don't think we need any blood analysis for that, right? Nah. So, physical examination should be enough. What about here? Irritating back pain, undesirable shoulder pain. Examination. Blood analysis has been ordered by Brody Phillips. Really? We need a blood for a uh, shoulder pain? Mm? I don't know about that one, dude. I was a physical examination if you were to ask me. Okay, well, I'll deal with more of those later. Right now, I feel like there's a lot of people waiting. Not enough doctors. We need a, a few extra doctors, I would say. Can I actually put another one here and have two doctors in a consulting area? And hire another one now? I don't see why not. I'm paused, right? Well, let's do that. Let's add another desk here, if we can. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. Yeah, we can do that. So... <laughs> have two doctors over here just rolling. People overhearing everybody's condition as well. You're over here talking about your personal issue, and then other people are, like, there as well, so you're hearing what's wrong with them, and they're hearing what's wrong with you, so everybody's really, like, on edge. It's kind of like, man, this is kind of really weird, huh? Uh, let's see about hiring another doctor. So we have Levi Butler, Ethan Brown, and Caleb Ward. This guy's got surgery. I want to have somebody ready for surgery down the line, so let me pick up Caleb over here. Caleb, whatever. There goes him. And let's also pick up another nurse for the pharmacy we'll have pretty soon, because right now there's a lot of people waiting, so the more doctors here would be ideal. So... Another nurse would be good right now. Let's get construction out of the way. Pharmacist. We have a radio radiographer over here as well, huh? Oh, she's off the market? No, she went up here. Pharmacist 53. I believe we have somebody ready for pharmacy, though, so maybe the radiographer could be helpful for the future. So let me pick up Riley Butler for now. Okay. It's one office per doctor, it does seem. That would make sense. As I mentioned, I don't think you want other people hearing about your personal conditions. So if that's the case, what I could do is extend another office over here. Yeah, why not? So now, the other doctor should come over here and we'll start dealing with more patients as well. Because a lot of people waiting, and I want to go ahead and just deal with that congestion of waiting around here. Alrighty guys, so right now I think this seems like a pretty good setup for now. I'm going to wrap up the episode here, and as I mentioned, if you want to see some more, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like, but it's a really fun little game. As you can see over here, we have like three doctor's offices now. We have the, this is the examination room. This is the laboratory. We have to set up the pharmacy here pretty soon so we can assign some medication as well after we've dealt with these people. This guy's over here pretty sick too. This ogre's back again. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.